If anybody tells you they have a simple way to paint white armor, they're a f***ing liar. I am I am white armor is notoriously difficult to paint and a lot of people will just kind of spray it white, recess shades and call it done, which is fine, it works. But I want to show you how to make it just a little bit more interesting. This is going to feel weird, but we're going to start with a black primer. And from here, we're going to start throwing in some color. We're starting off with Vallejo Model Color Blue. And we're only picking out a few spots. This is not a total coverage base coat. From here, we're going to do the same, but with magenta. Now, we're going to pick out a few different spots. We're going to overlap with that blue a little bit. This is all about creating visual interest. And then, of course, we're going to do the same thing, but this time with Vallejo Model Color Blue Green. Just like the magenta, you'll have to build up the blue-green in a few coats. We need to boost the vibrance as much as possible and you'll see why in the next step. And finally for our white armor, we're actually going to use white. Coming from a steep angle, we're essentially going to zenith all this. Which means coming from a sharp angle, we're going to build up a few layers of white to really give that white feel of the armor, but we're keeping all the recesses, all of that vibrant color mix that we just put in. The key here is multiple thin layers of white. We don't want to drown out all the hard work we've just put in. Now it's time for a little bit of secret sauce, Army Painter Battleship Grey Speed Paint. This is going to do a couple of things for us. One, it's going to blend in all those colours into the white and give it a little bit more harmony. And two, it's going to dial back that bright white into a blue-grey off-white kind of colour. So we've actually got a base that we can start highlighting from. Since we've already built up a lot of interest, for our highlights, we're only going to concentrate on a few areas. Places where the light's going to hit on those very hard edges. If you've wondered where we get all of these awesome female heads from, it's a company called RTLW. If you want to pick up some for yourself, there is an affiliate link in the description. After our first layer of highlights, we're going to come back with the AK Interactive White. Now this is going to get real bold real quick. This is going to be for our most intense highlights. We're going to pick out the hardest edges, the crispiest lines, and even put in some glare streaks. Now it's around here that I usually like to start painting in the black and separating some of the parts just so I can see where we're up to with the dynamics. After the black, we're going to talk a little bit about glazing. Now I'm going to take that same white and I like to do at least three passes over a section before I decide if I'm heading in the right direction or not. As always, I want to say a massive thank you to the guys at In Games for sponsoring the video. You'll find all their links in the description as well. I know this was a pretty weird approach to painting white armor, but I think it actually adds a lot of interest and a lot of character. Black and white can be very bland colors when it comes to painting, so helping it along with a little bit more vibrancy may just be exactly what we need. I also want to give some love to our prismatic heretics, the Patreons. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Now let's check out some bloopers. White armor. <coughs> Why does somebody have to mow every goddamn time I record? <coughs>